This is her tap tap. Welcome to Let's Play Gen Gemcraft Labyrinth. Um, I lost a few recordings, and I'm gonna be busy this next week, so this might be the last vid for a bit. Oh, and when I say lost some recordings, I mean my terabyte external hard drive broke, so I actually lost quite a bit of stuff. Annoyingly. Um, my laptop is a lot safer, the data on my laptop is a lot safer than my external hard drive because my laptop is a solid state drive, so it can't be damaged by, you know, dropping where my external hard drive apparently could. You can just read this for yourself. Um, so I lost a few, I lost a couple Minecraft videos I will not be redoing. Um, and my, I did another episode of Deutschcraft and... It was really awkward to even be doing it, and I'm not going to be doing another one for a bit. And I'm busy this next week. So I probably won't be having any videos up. Uh, but, and no more Minecraft for a while, I'm sorry. Uh, if you do want more Minecraft, just leave a comment and whatever. Say you want more Minecraft. But I'm, I'm still fairly bored with it, so... And I've lost too many recordings of it. So I'm sort of tired of that too. Even though it's not really the game's fault, it's just coincidence. I'm also very tired of fixing my genius teammates' horrific mistakes in our web project. Basically, they've made about 40 different web pages, uh, PHP pages, that do something that I could do easily with a single web page. It's just so goddamn ugly, and I don't even want to look at what they did. Because I know it'll be so easy to fix. I've fixed a lot of things they've done. And it looks like we got a different sort of map system, kind of, in this one. And now here I am, at the entrance of the labyrinth. There is something shining in its center, but I can't just hop over there. I sense some kind of energy not letting me pass the field to the maids. That simply. Well, it must be some sort of gameplay element. Maybe it's part of my test. Just like the hordes of monsters lurking in there waiting to ambush me. Creating gems. Yeah, you create gems. If you haven't played mine or er, Gemcraft before, you make gems. Gems are basically your towers. They all fire pretty similarly, but they have different special effects based on the color of the gem. I don't know what all they've done to Ah. They made it different to uh it's easier to make the different colors. In the first one I think it was random. Let's do some multiple damage gems, that sound better. Alright, and the way this works is that... Ah. Uh, I see. The... Oop. Okay. Actually, I don't see. Starting time and speeding up. Yeah, that has a nice um, fast-forward function for those of us that like to skip stuff. Star Defense games can take way too long. Alright, so just to start time, you can just hit play. To advance the next wave, you can just click it. And boom, you get a bonus, you get some mana. I don't remember what mana is for yet. I know, I remember using it vaguely. I'm sure I'll remember by the time we start to use it. And an interesting feature you can do... I'm not sure how the creating gem, the interface on that works. It's sort of odd. Because, you know, there's this thing and I want to click that thing, but if I click that, it, go away, it goes away. I think it, yeah, the gem grade goes up as you go along that thing. That's sort of odd. Alright, here we go. Alright, so what I wanted to do was create two level 2 gems. Alright, so each one of these represents a level. Higher ones are better, surprisingly enough. And you can combine two grade 1 gems, if I have enough mana. I still don't have enough mana. Yeah, that's what mana's for. Oh yeah, mana lets you buy towers too. Well, gems. All right, so when you get enough stuff, you can damn it. No, click this first. Combine the two gems. Boom! You got a grade two gem, and it's got a mix of the two powers. Now, when you mix stuff together, um, it does more damage. You know, it's got more. Um, yeah, you can see right there. Dual gem modifiers, plus 5% damage, plus 5% firing speed, plus 5% range. Its special effects have a little less power, actually. But its general 
the general damage it deals will be a bit better. So generally I try to stick to, um, at least I think that the duplicate gem things, or I mean the dual gem things are a bit better. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure if pure gems have any sort of bonus. I'm not sure I like how this selecting gem grade thing works. I mean, I figured it out fairly quickly, but at first glance, it's odd. All right. Oh, right. Um, if you're getting way ahead of the, um, whatever you call them, the uh, hordes of enemies, you can just click on the next wave that you want to send, send them in. Because why the hell not? And if you replace a gem, which is basically a tower, well wait, no, okay, these things are towers, the places where you put gems, and gems basically do your damage. So if you want to replace a gem into a tower, it takes a little bit of time, so you might want to wait until a wave dies down, or you've got some sort of lull in order to do that. Do it for the lulls, okay? Just, yeah. Alright, time speed. Forgot about that. That is another important thing to keep you from wasting a lot of time while playing this game. Well, it's tower defense, so it's gonna waste a lot of time, but. It's gonna, and there's experience. I'd, I have no idea what just happened. We got some. We got some experience, is pretty much the point here. So, yeah. You get experience, and you get more experience by doing these things like starting waves early, which. Yeah, I get that a lot because I'm impatient. Not yeah. You'll you'll hopefully get that a lot. You probably won't. You hopefully will though. Well not in the later levels. Create a dual gem. That's I think that's a one time I think these are one time experience things. And these are just modifiers that you get every time you do a level in a certain manner. So every time you don't you know, you don't leak a wave. Wait, hey, we've reached wizard level two. That sounds... I know that's good. Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. I see the scroll thing and I want to scroll. Um, there are skills somewhere. I, I don't know how to operate on them though. So what is the point of that? Look, it's shiny. Shiny. Shiny is good. I like shiny things. Bah, stop that. Tutorial pages, chronicle pages. What is a chronicle? It's probably the story. But yeah, I don't care. Okay, I'm, I'm, I give up trying to find out the leveling system. Whoa, whoa! Hello. In the battle settings panel, you can mix many different settings and create the custom mode you want to battle in. Yeah, this is a cool thing about Gemcraft. Um, there is a spe you, There are different ways to fight each wave or each um, battlefield. I can't select any of them now because I have I need to have a higher level, I guess. And I guess if you want to be premium pro, you can get the premium thing. So if you play it on harder settings, you get more experience and at least hopefully, you know, more fun. I have additional waves. Sure, why the fuck not? Uh I guess that's all I can really do. Forward to skills. The skills in the skills panel, you can learn and upgrade skills that will aid you in battle. This is what I was looking for for the level up thingy. To earn a skill, click and drag the mouse upwards. You can unlearn or downgrade your skill by dragging downwards. What? Sounds kind of odd. Roll over the skill icons for more details about them. Blah blah. Let's up. Oh, it's like a slider. That's kind of odd, really. Alright, what does this actually do? Ooh, more initial mana. Very good. Actually, let's just max that shit out. Um, replenish. More mana replenish. Actually, I want some of that. Let's just get five of both. Whoa. Uh, whatever. I don't want to look over all of this yet. Entering field H something. Combining gems. I already showed you this. Oh yeah, and you, when you combine gems, you want to combine them of the same grade. Otherwise, you'll basically be wasting some mana. Walls are much cheaper to build than your other buildings. 
They provide a nice way to build mazes and shit. The longer their path, the more time you have to kill things. Killing things is good. Um, I don't know what the walls are about yet. Um, oh, you can build walls to then build, uh, Corruption bombs are fire and towers destroy. Huh, that's new. I think. Well, I need a tower. Wait, what's this? Amplifier? Alright, I need... Towers are the important thing. So it's tower. Tower. And gems. Gems are actually pretty important. Okay, let's just send the first damn wave. Let's actually put it in a tower. That's... Kind of important, also. Actually, let's slow down time slightly. Because I kind of need a second thing. There we go. I should probably check out what these do first, too. Okay, let's speed up. Impatientness. Slowing gen. Oh! You should be first, shouldn't you? Very good. It switches your things. This gems increases. Ooh! I like that. Very good. Very good indeed. Let's make a slowy killy gem. Just because I can. Actually, wait. Let's make another tower. Then let's make a slowy killy gem. Oh, right. Oh. If you want that mana bonus, you gotta click early. Pure red. Um, you know, to send the next wave. Also, I think the wave things, I think they indicate to you what kind of wave is coming. Oh crap. Don't bleak, please. Okay. No! No! Yes! Very good. That's better. Killing is happening. I like when that happens. Unless it happens to me. Extend mana pool. Uh, this is most helpful if you hit the mana ceiling, which I won't be yet. And it also increases the mana gain speed, so it's pretty helpful, but I don't want it yet. Traps, I don't I don't care for traps. But uh, the way traps work is that they deal less damage, but they have stronger special effects. So let's just put a trap here. And if I put a slow gem, actually I shouldn't have made that that expensive. But if I put a slow gem on here, it'll have major slowdown effect, not very much damage at all. So, for example, the slowdown works really well on that, except that was a really bad placement on my part, because the enemies don't go over that very much. Let's put it right there. Can I get the... there. That is a better place for that. So for the slowdown, very good for traps. For the, what is this, Bloodhound, since it increases its special, does not lend itself well to the trap thing. So you want to leave that as a tower. Now I'm not sure what the amplifiers are all about. Drop a gem. Oh. We're almost done with this level, so let's ignore the rest. It's a pretty complicated, um, for a tower defense game. There's lots of stuff, but you'll learn as you go on. So, you can ignore most of the advanced features and... You know, just play the damn game, and the game will teach you... Fairly well, at least my experience was that it teaches you fairly well what the fuck's going on, which is always good. And it introduces you to all of the elements slowly enough. Actually, let's add some more waves so I have some more time to talk about shit. Okay, yep. I need to be wizard level 7, or 6. Can't count. Well, I can't read, actually. More mana! Wait, 12 more mana. Wait. The next skill level gives me the exact same thing, so that's kind of lame. Why don't you just make it have less levels and just make all of the levels always increase? And just increase these, you know what I mean? Increase the amount of stuff it costs. Starting waves early. Get some extra mana. Yeah, I've been doing this. If you're not careful... Yeah, if you're not careful, that will kill the shit out of you. I think that's... Should be fairly obvious, though. Multiple damage. Oh, cool! I thought this was like an area of effect thing. Hmm. And what's this do? Shocking gem. Stackable. 
I'm not sure what a stackable immunity rate is, honestly. Um, let's just make one of these. Can't make the rest. Let's just put that there. Oh, and we've got, um, hmm. I think you can destroy this, yeah, with, uh, gem bombs. Oh, shoot. Um, uh-oh. Probably make another. Oh, I guess we're okay for now. I would like to make, uh, there we go. I really wish you could just drag one gem on top of the other to combine, but I guess if you're just reorganizing, you wouldn't want that to happen. Very good. I like the color mixing thing. It's just, it looks nice. Alright. Raises shock targets immunity. I really don't know what the immunity is. I'm guessing that means if I hit them with shock, they won't be shocked as much the next time. And I'm guessing that shock means paralysis. Otherwise, holy crap! Don't stop being fast. You, you, you cut that out right now, Mister. I will not tolerate fast people. Oh, right. It. Um. You should probably not actually send two things at once, two ways at once. I'm just being a lazy bastard. Oh wait. Honestly, I do not get what the point of walls are. Build a long maze. I guess if you don't have these pathways... I've never seen the monsters not on the pathways, though. Oh, level 4 gem. I never got to use one of these before. Did they have these in the original one? I don't know. I did not get very far. I honestly just played until I got one of the medals, and then I quit. Yes, I'm a metal whore. Um, 33% shock, chance to shock. Let's switch those two. That sounds good. I don't, still don't know what that means. It sounds pretty badass though. Oh wow, that was expensive. Oh, hello. It's a boss thingy, I think. Giant monster, wave 15. It's got lots of health and it's, yeah. Wait, banish. What's banish? I don't know what banishing means. I assume that it means I can just like click and kill it or something. Oh yeah, that's it does gain shock immunity as it gets shocked. I'm assuming that means paralysis still. I don't I'm not sure if it does. We got some tough Oh hey, I got a badge. Field tested badge. If you What is it? Ah. Three fields completed. Excellent. Grade four gem. Grade four gem, yay. There's also numbers on that screen. I assume they're good. I didn't really pay enough attention to really care, though. This looks like a dead end, so let's play this. Five more waves. Let's see, focus, blah, blah. Yeah, I like my starting mana more than anything, because then I get to set up big things. Ooh, new mana gem thingies. Building towers. You can build towers on a clear area. This is what I like about how the game teaches you stuff. It leaves most of these features open to you from the very start, but you can ignore them, and it just teaches you how to use them as you go on. And if you don't care, it's not a forced tutorial, so you can just skip it. Oh, it I guess it is actually kind of a forced tutorial, because in this one, you do have to... You're going to have to... Um, build towers to actually attack anything. I'm not sure what the deal with is. Well, I kind of, I'm guessing I know what the deal is with the monster nest. I'm just kind of scared of the monster nests. I don't, I do not like to use gem bombs, so I'm not a fan of this, what I assume is the deal here. Armor tearing gem. I don't, wait, what symbol means armor? Giant monster. Drop a gem bomb. Oh, you can summon more monsters if you're really hardcore or something. Oh, yeah, there's an armor level on each, each of the waves that shows you that kind of info. I should probably make another tower. Very quickly. Shit. Oh, whatever. Oh, oh god. That was... 
That's what you get for looking at your wave thing, the wave things, instead of actually paying attention to what's going on. Let's build a tower there. And if I remember correctly, as you build towers, the next one always gets more and more expensive, which makes sense. Let's tire that out. Yep, it gets a bit more expensive. Not too bad, though. Giant monster. Hello, giant monsters. You're amazingly slow. Gonna see. Maybe not. Holy crap! Stop being, stop being fast. What have I told you about being fast? Ow. Those... Okay. I think we need the armor piercy things to kill the things with the stuff. You know, the big, the big ones. Wait, where's the giant? Ah, yes, we do need armor. Armor piercy thingies. But this sounded good. What does this do? Extracts mana. Ooh, that sounds good. All right, we're going to want some towers. So... Tower and... T oh. Towers are expensive. Oh. Right. Probably place one. Now let's play it normally instead of forcing more enemies in. Wait, this was a terrible idea. Let's restart. I'm stupid. How do I restart? Restart battle. Yes, re confirm restart, you bastard. Okay. Okay. Let's just make two towers. And a mana thingy and a... Alright. Whatever. Go. And now, very soon... i make number two. Wait, no, no, no. Wait, no. First mana thingy, yes. Did I take, did I already take damage? I d how do I tell what health I have? I don't know. Alright, now that we have some mana stuff, let's make that. Wait, no, no! Stop! Ah! If you wanted to be pro, you could probably just pause the game while you're- God damn it, why don't you mix? Okay, I should probably pause the game while I'm trying to dick around with the gems, actually. Probably be a good idea. Hmm. I'm wondering if I can just put one of these as a trap. Hmm. And it'll be... And it'll steal. Oh yeah, well, it should be the same. So I can just keep armor piercing on the actual towers. All right. I've got a better idea of what's going on. Wait, can I block? Oh, that's what they're for. You can block off shit like that. Not sure if I wanted to do that, but I did. So, deal with it. Stop, stop, no. No! That hurts. Stop hurting. 13 kills in a row, hooray. Let's make another trap for mana-ing. I mean, that's pretty much the perfect place for mana thing. The mana steely thing. Let's put you in there. And let's combine you with you. Huzzah! Alrighty then. Let's put a. No! Tower! Thing! Stop! Start killing things! Stop living! Everything stop! No! You're not allowed to live. I forbid it. Cut it out. Just, 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 no. Okay. Hmm. More strategies involved than I seem to be using. Next episode, if I could choose to...